So we're doing a Vipassana meditation on appreciative joy. And so I have a quote starting us off today by Jack Kornfield. And he says, joy is a capacity we all have that can be trained and developed. It is a primary human experience as deeply natural as the blue sky. So this is uh, one of the four Brahma Viharas or also called the divine abodes uh, as portrayed in, in Buddhism. And we've already worked with loving kindness and we've done compassion. Uh, so this one is appreciative joy. Sometimes it's called sympathetic joy. Uh, the Pali name for this is Bundita. And as Jack Hornfield, who I, who I adore, a uh, very respected teacher, he reminds us that joy is not just that fleeting emotion, but it's really what's uh, really within us, it resides within us. And it's our ability to rejoice in the happiness and success of others without any trace of envy. So that's what we're going to be working with today in our practice. We'll be cultivating this pure joy, learning to delight in the well-being of others as if it were our own, thereby, thereby uh, expanding our hearts and dissolving the barriers of separateness. And doesn't that sound really appropriate for today? <laughs> After the wonderful uh, DNC convention last night. So with that, everyone, let's uh, go ahead and get into a uh, relaxed meditative posture for today. And we'll get started in just a moment. So finding that comfortable seat where you can remain still yet alert, sitting up straight, not rigid. We want to have some relaxation, a little bit of resilience in our back. And our hands are resting gently on our lap. Closing the eyes softly or lowering the gaze a few feet in front. So let's begin by taking a few deep, nice deep uh, breaths today to center ourselves. Uh, nice belly breaths. So with each inhale, let's draw in calmness. And with each exhale, releasing tension from the body. So breathing in, breathing out. Allowing your mind to settle, grounding yourself in this sensation of sitting. Feeling the weight of your body and the contact points, whether you're on a chair today, your couch, maybe a cushion. So let's be with them. Shifting your focus to your breathing. Notice the sensation of the air as it enters through the nostrils, filling the lungs, and then flows out again. So here, observing the rhythm of your breath, the depth, the speed, the texture. And each time the mind wanders, just gently return your attention to your breath. Remember, we do this kindly, lovingly knowing that this is our anchor that keeps you connected to the present moment.
With appreciative joy, we repeat phrases very uh, similar to the loving kindness phrases, the compassion phrases, and I have those up on the screen. And how we approach this is that we imagine someone you know who is experiencing happiness or success. Picture them vividly in your mind. Where they are, what they might be doing, and their expressions of joy. And then begin to silently repeat the phrases of joy. May your happiness continue. May your success grow. May your happiness and good fortune not leave you. I celebrate your achievements and happiness. And certainly you can choose any phrases that are similar. The important point here is that we feel each word resonate within us really echoing your genuine wishes for their well-being. And with each repetition, allow the warmth of joy to grow in your heart as if their happiness radiates into you. May your happiness continue. May your success grow. May your happiness and good fortune not leave you. I celebrate your achievements and happiness. Now extend this feeling of joy to others. Allow those others appear in your mind, maybe starting with close friends and then acquaintances and and so on. As you visualize different people, you can adapt the phrases as well too. 
May your happiness continue. May your success grow. May your happiness and good fortune not leave you. I celebrate your achievements and happiness. And as you do this with each person, imagine your heart expanding as you include more people in your circle of joy, recognizing the interconnectedness of all our experiences. And if your mind wanders, bring it back to the phrases, back to your breath, and continue. May your happiness continue. May your success grow. May your happiness and good fortune not leave you. I celebrate your achievements and happiness. Continue to include more people in your circle of joy.
Now let's include ourselves in the circle of joy. May my happiness continue. May my success grow. May my happiness and good fortune not leave me. I celebrate my achievements and happiness. In these final moments, reflect on the sensations and emotions stirred by this meditation. Observe any changes in your mood or outlook. How does it feel to cultivate joy for others? And then rest in these feelings, letting them permeate your being. And slowly bring your attention back to your breath. Noticing the rise and fall of your chest or abdomen. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes, carrying with you the seeds of joy sown during this practice. And I thank you for joining this session today on cultivating appreciative joy. And remember, each act of rejoicing in another's happiness builds bridges of understanding and compassion in our own hearts and across our communities. So may the joy that you've nurtured here extend into every aspect of your life. Thank you, friends, for being here today. Now, that's a great question of uh, using the phrases, but not really uh, believing that that person is receiving them or will fulfill those phrases. It goes back to the same thing that we do with loving kindness and, and with the compassion phrases and is that our intention, right? It's our willingness to, to offer those phrases, those well wishes. So it's always the intention by intention by you know behind what we are doing so we may not feel it right now especially if we're you know at the end i had you give the appreciative joy to yourself we may not feel that right now maybe you don't feel like i'm a success or any of those but it's our intention 
because it's there within us, right? It's all there within us. And all we're doing is we're bringing that, um, I'm seeing like a candle as I'm talking about this. It's like, it's bringing that light forward, whether it's to ourselves or to other people. Because that's then making that connection between they and me, right? May your happiness continue. They may not seem happy right now, or I may not seem happy right now, right? But it's those well wishes, that intention. What am I holding in my heart for this person? Just like the loving kindness, you know, may you be happy, may you be well, may you be safe, may you be peaceful, may you be at ease. We're just adding on, may you experience joy. May you be successful. Uh, I was offering my intention this morning to a couple of people who are celebrating their birthdays today. Well, happy birthday to all of those. They will soon be father-in-law and daughter-in-law to each other. It felt a little like a gift from me to them. Ah, that's the key, right? It is a gift that we're giving. I love how you said that. So when we're giving appreciative joy, when we're giving kindness, when we're giving uh, compassion, uh, next week we'll be working with equanimity. When we're giving all these, it is a gift. It's a gift of ourselves. So I love how you how, how you phrase that. So that's how we can think about it. Not only an intention, but a gift. A piece of ourselves that doesn't diminish who we are. It just gives them more. So thanks for sharing that. That's beautiful. I was thinking both of some people I know struggling right now. It's a great way to use the phrases. But also I'm being patient with my body to heal from this cold. Yes. So we have to build in that, that love and kindness and joy and compassion and equanimity, as I said, we'll be doing next week. All oh, that building that into our, our own be being as well. It's a wonderful exchange, right? And it's already there within us. It's just we have to basically acknowledge that it is. We forget. We have a bad day and we forget. We get upset with someone and we forget. But we have the ability to remember <laughs> to do this work, right? We have that ability to remember. And that's what's so important. So keep up the great work. We've got another eight days after, after today. And... Uh, step by step and I hope you've been really seeing the benefit of the consistent practices whether you've been able to come online every day or if, if you've been using you know the recordings it's making a difference in our everyday lives and that's what is beautiful about it <laughs> yes <laughs> and yes may you all have a wonderful weekend and uh, may you continue to attend every day, <laughs> if you can. So take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. See you soon.